President Park Geun-hye, who's touring four countries in South America, is currently in Peru, as we mentioned. Meeting her Peruvian counterpart on Monday, the Korean leader highlighted the significance of the two sides expanding their partnership to include health care, energy and culture. Our Choi Yusan, who's travelling with the president, filed this report from Lima. Before coming to Peru, President Park Geun-hye expressed hopes to expand bilateral cooperation beyond trade and investment. Meeting Peruvian President Ollanta Humala on Monday, she placed significance on the two sides boosting cooperation in areas like aviation technology based on deep trust. A total of 20 new deals were signed. A Korean hospital sealed a deal with a Peruvian hospital to help develop a telemedicine model to offer medical services to many Peruvians who have no access to a medical facility. This will give Korean medical equipment and communication device manufacturers a chance to launch their business in the region. Under its development strategy, Peru plans to inject 100 billion U.S. dollars into building infrastructure until 2021. President Buck said Seoul hopes to actively support Lima's development efforts by expanding economic cooperation. A number of deals will take Korea a step closer to winning projects to develop Lima's water management and electricity distribution systems, projects that could be worth as much as $4 billion. Peru is number one in South America in terms of Korean drama broadcasts, and there's an estimated 420,000 members in over 100 Korean wave clubs. Korea's global broadcaster Arirang TV and Peru's most watched America TV signed a deal to share content and to co-produce with an aim to promote Korean culture beyond K-pop throughout the continent. In the display of highest respect for each other, President Bak conferred Korea's Grand Order of Mugunghwa to President Umala, who in turn gave Bak Peru's top grand caller, usually awarded to the country's independence patriots. President Bak will depart for Chile, the third leg of our South America tour, on Tuesday. Choi Yusan, Arirang News, Lima.